Now, a lot of you guys might be wondering, well, what the hell? Why did we hear so much about the Afghanistan withdrawal? And it was, you know, everybody was flipping out and Biden's approval rating plummeted because the media did nothing but shit on him relentlessly for two or three weeks as this was going on. Why did we hear so much about that? We didn't hear so much about the war when stuff was happening and we were there and it was terrible, like when we allied with warlords who had child sex slaves. There wasn't hair on fire coverage over that. There wasn't hair on fire coverage over the Afghanistan papers, which found the whole war was a lie. But when we left, it was endless outrage. Well, we may have our answer now. Breaking. This is from, I believe, a political reporter, Lee Hudson. Breaking. Raytheon Tech CEO Greg Hayes says the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan has a $75 million impact in sales for the company. Maybe that's why the withdrawal was portrayed as the worst thing that ever happened. All right, now look at this. This is from Open Secrets. This is the defense industry, long-term contribution trends. So in 2020 alone, there was about $45 million that was donated by the so-called defense industry. Really, it's the offense industry. It's the military industrial complex. In 2018, excuse me, in 2018, $30 million 2016, a little over $30 million. 2014, just under $30 million, like 27 or so million dollars. And you could see it there. You could see it there. So let me explain to you what happens. The defense industry donates to the politicians. The politicians vote for contracts for the defense industry. That gets them phenomenally wealthy. See, this is just an investment. This is an investment of the defense industry. If you give money to the politicians, you're getting a return on investment because then they're going to give you contracts that are worth way more. So it's good for business. Uh, and also, the money that's given to the politicians comes with the understanding that, remember, we're the world police, and we're the human rights leader, and so we need to be involved in all these places, and we need to give weapons to our allies, and we need to do this for safety. So remember, don't be anti-war, because anti-war is bad. Well, on top of that, you also have the media. There are times where there are literal... Uh, defense contractor commercials that run on the Sunday shows. What? What do you... So what's going on here? Is the idea that the average person watching Meet the Press needs to go buy, uh, you know, uh, a, a missile from Lockheed Martin? No. The reason they give money to the networks is to buy influence. So they're buying influence when the defense contractors give uh, corporate media money. And then what happens? All the incentives are lined up perfectly where everybody melts down if we pull out of a war. And that's what happened. Joe Biden took all the boots on the ground out. Credit to him on that front. By the way, there's now chatter that maybe, maybe we're going to cut a deal with Pakistan so that we could still bomb in Afghanistan and keep our drones in Pakistan. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. For the love of God, I hope that falls through and that we can't do that. Uh... But we'll wait and see what happens on that front before we comment. Anyway, so we end the war in Afghanistan, and it's portrayed as the worst thing in the world. The reason it's portrayed as the worst thing in the world is because of the incentive structure, and because a lot of people got really wealthy off of that war. And now they're not. Raytheon lost $75 million. That's why they didn't want that war to end. That's why it was portrayed to you as the worst thing in the world. This is the military-industrial complex in action. That's what this is. And it should disgust you. Really is something, isn't it? These decisions are rarely made with a sober evaluation of the evidence and the law in mind and principles in mind. Almost always the donors get the last say. And guess what? When they don't, in the rare instances that they don't, this is what happens. They flip out. They cry, they pretend like it's the end of the world, and they move public opinion massively. Because if the entire media is saying the same thing in unison, and the other politicians are saying the same thing in unison, that drives public opinion. So what happened is, the American people still had the position, we should get out of Afghanistan, but Biden's numbers plunged on the issue of Afghanistan because the way in which we got out was too sloppy and too messy. So they were trying to build the groundwork for, you gotta go back in, you have to do it. And we might now. But this is what it was all really about. Raytheon didn't want to lose that $75 million. And so they raised holy hell over it, just like the other defense contractors. Honeywell, Boeing, you name them. So, 
It, terrible. This is the rot in our system. There should be no such thing as private campaign contributions. No such thing. Because the politicians are never going to represent us and do the right thing if, first and foremost, they're serving their donors and their donors have the exact opposite agenda of the one we want. The American people don't want to be in all these wars. The military industrial complex does. And usually they listen to the military industrial complex and not us. And you know why.